Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper and this is the Nano Modules owner. So before we actually dive into the actual module, I do have to say I got this module from a Nano Modules at a tremendous discount, but that will in no way, shape or form influence my opinion or this video. Um, I know a lot of people are waiting for the Strymon giveaway, that's going to be at the end of this video, so please hold tight and uh, hope you enjoy. Cheers. So here we go, the Nano Modules Owner. So the first thing you're going to see is of course the nicely blinking LED behind the, the logo. So if I put it in LFO mode you'll actually start and see that flashing with the frequency I think it's a nice touch. This is really going to be one of the eye catches in your rack. I can't complain any sorts about the well, the actual attention to detail and the the, the craftsmanship of this uh, this module. It just looks nice. It's got a nice aesthetic going for it. So truly one of the nicer modules I've seen. So um, let's do a quick rundown. So you've got a nice clicky octave selector. Um, you've got your fine tuner there, you've got your switch for linear versus exponential frequency modulation, you've got your mode setter for VCO and LFO, you've got your frequency modulation attenuator and the same one for pulse width. Um, regarding pulse width, set it at 3 o'clock if you want to have an even uh, pulse in the pulse wave. So then you've got your inputs, so you've got your frequency modulation input, your volt per octave, your sync, and your pulse width modulation input port as well. So sync is essentially a reset for the, well, for the phase within the waveform that you're in. So that's extremely usable if you're running this in LFO mode. I'm not so sure if it has any use when you're running it as a VCO, uh, but I might be wrong and people please educate me if I am. Uh, then you've got your outputs, you've got eight different outputs all together. So you've got your uh, complex waveform, so a triangle that can be pulse width modulated. You've got a saw that can be pulse width modulated and you've got your two subs. One is one octave below, one is two octave, this one is two octaves below. Then you've got your sine, triangle, saw and pulse and again this pulse can be well with modulated as well so uh, without further ado i would say uh, let's have a listen shall we so let me connect this one and i'm just going to connect it immediately into one of the complex ones there you go and let's uh, turn this back and set it to vco mode and you'll see the actual waveform and if I then turn the pulse width knob you'll see that we start with a triangle or something that resembles a triangle and you can easily just migrate back and have that nicely pulse width modulated feel to it. It's got a rather sharp sound to it and I I might be mistaken but this is especially usable for what I'm trying to do with uh, electro punk so I'll probably be playing around with this like my lead guitar and the same thing is true for the other complex waveform. So that is a saw that is pulled with modulatable. As you can see, these two really look alike, but this one of course has a very horizontal modulation capability to it. So this has a more warm sound to it. So I'll probably be using the, the previous one, the triangle one, if I want to have some really raspy well, distorted guitar sounds to it. Um, then you've got your two subs, one octave below, two octaves below, your sign, and even though it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a good sign wave, it's a bit warmer than uh, other oscillators I, I know. Um, the, the other harmonics in there are probably of course the, the, the reason for that. So then grab the triangle, and this is again, this is one of the sharpest triangles I've ever seen. And if you just look at the frequency analyzer there, you could actually just take a take a compass and you can actually draw a straight line all the way from that uh, A sharp two down to the F4 and you'll, 
it's just a beautiful beautiful physical thing to see absolutely beautiful you've got your saw nice and, and raspy I think and you've got your pulse and again this pulse can be modulated anything you want uh, before anyone asks you can't modulate the subs but they do go through zero but the pulse width can be modulated so let's uh, well connect something else to it so let's uh, grab the triangle wave and let's grab my keyboard out and put it in the full prerogative and you can just nice rich sound to it beautiful oscillator nice it, it, it's got spirit if you ask me so I love that I tr truly do so let's uh, disconnect that turn that nearly on a bit so one of the great things is nano actually includes nearlies when you buy a module from them so that I, f I found that's just such a a nice little detail but I, I truly love them for doing that so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna demonstrate some of the capabilities so first off let me just grab another sine wave and we're just gonna play with frequency modulation for now so select the sine put another sine wave in there oh, first start with linear and let's just turn the frequency up and down a bit and you can already hear what we can do that's I, I love playing around with frequency modulation but if we then go into exponential oh wow that's noisy There we go. I love playing with these things. It's always nice, right? So let's uh, connect my keyboard again, see if we can do anything with it. Ooh, I need to work on my tuning. <laughs> uh, but still, it's just nice to see how it works. So the other thing I want to do is I want to connect my output to an, to another oscillator that I've got here. And let me just turn that on. And what I'll do is I'll actually grab and put this in LFO mode and grab the sawtooth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect another LFO to the synth port. Because I think that that's something rather slow now let me turn up the uh, frequency of the other LFO there you go so it's actually stopping the LFO on the owner and starting it again so that's why you can restart your LFO essentially but still this is not the nicest sound to listen to of course so there you have it. So this is a quick rundown of the of the actual owner. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this in my 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 electro punk goal, and I'm just going to think about how I'm going to synthesize or sequence this nice device. But it's going to be a great thing. I'm really looking forward to that. So let's go back to the studio, right? So I truly hope you enjoyed my review of the Nano Modules Honor. 
for me again it's always a pleasure to make these videos and i hope you guys enjoy them hopefully at least as or half as much as i enjoy making them because then i know you guys will be pretty psyched about them and before we dive into the actual Strymon giveaway, uh, let me again thank Nano Modules again for making this video possible. And I would then also want to thank Strymon for giving me this swag that we can actually give away to all of our friends back home. So I've got socks, I've got t-shirts, I've got a beanie, I've got stickers, I've got keychains as well. So, I was thinking about what would be the best for the channel if we do this giveaway. As you know, we're still at 39 subscribers and I want to get that to 100 ASAP. So, the subscribers that I will be getting a Strymon Care Package from me will be the ones that have gone above and beyond in promoting this channel. So what I want to do is I want to open up a special email address. So that will be giveaway at the modularclubhouse.nl. I'll put the email address down below as well. And send me the proof of how you've promoted this channel. So make sure that you take a screenshot of you being subscribed, that you are liking videos, that you're commenting as well. Um, but also make sure that you show me how you were part of the troops that got me to 100 subscribers. So I'm going to open up this giveaway until I hit 100 and then I'm going to be selecting whoever deserves this most. And I'm going to make sure that we make nice care packages out of all of this. So again, make sure we get to 100 ASAP and after that I'll make some I'll draw some lots and make sure that the people who deserve it will get some goodies. So, that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Wish you all the best in winning the Strymon giveaway. Take care. Cheers. P.S. I totally forgot to mention one thing, and that is that you can find all nano modules, modules, on VCV rack for free. So if you're um, thinking about purchasing one of their models, have a look at VCV rack, play around with it, and give it a go. Thanks so much. Cheers.